Hello everybody, today we are trying out a brand new fast casual restaurant that has just opened up right outside of Universal Studios and I could not be more to, excited to try it. It is called Bubba Coo's Burritos. So it's got a weird name, but hopefully it has some good food. headed over to Bubba Koo's Burritos. Um, anybody who knows me knows that I love fast casual style restaurants like Chipotle and Blaze Pizza and Piata, which is like an Italian fast casual. I'm just such a huge fan of fast casual style restaurants. I love the fact that they're kind of quick in and out. Uh, you get to kind of decide what you want to eat. You can kind of pick different toppings and things like that. I'm a huge fan of that style. Um, and especially when it comes to Mexican cuisine, uh, Mexican, Tex-Mex, anything in that vein, I am a huge fan. Chipotle, Qdoba, Moe's, uh, Burrito Joe's, Taco Bus. I mean, they're all just so exciting. So Bubba Koo's Burritos, when I saw, we're here, we're going to, this is the grand opening. We wanted to come over here. When I saw they were going to be opening this place, I never even heard of it. Um, I was super excited. I was like, we have to try this place. I love you know, Mexican cuisine when it comes to fast casual, like burritos and burrito bowls and tacos and things. I'm just kind of a sucker for. Um, are you excited? She's I'm not, not like as a huge. Excited as yeah. him, but I'm like okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm 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 super pumped. Um, and it, and I looked at the menu ahead of time online to kind of see what they had, and it looks like they have some really interesting food choices, like different proteins and things that you don't find at some of the other places. So it seems like it's going to be a little bit, maybe a little bit closer to Taco Bus than like a Qdoba or Chipotle, but we'll find out. I don't know. Let's, let's check it out. I can't wait to try it. Cause first of all, I'm starved. <laughs> Second of all, I'm ready for some sort of burrito or burrito bowl. They actually had a menu that I could hold and take a look at. So that was great. Cause I could actually look at it in line. It was kind of hard to see the screen from the back of the line. So very similar to Chipotle, Qdoba, Moe's, etc. It looks like you start out with choosing your entree. So like a burrito or a bowl, quesadillo, tacos, nachos. They have a taco salad and a chihuahua. Some sort of deep fried, I don't even know, ball of some kind. Then you choose your protein and they have the standard proteins like chicken and steak. But they have some really cool unusual ones like buffalo crispy chicken and mango habanero grilled chicken and then they also have some premium toppings over here like the hibachi steak shrimp they have a sweet chili shrimp chicken bacon sriracha ranch and then they have some supreme options which is like steak and shrimp or double um, and then you have different toppings you can put in it so like brown rice white rice you know sort of the standard fare there chips and salsa is extra um, and it's about two dollars and fifty cents for the chips and salsa. Um, they also have guacamole. And then they have, oddly enough, they have tater tots and curly fries of different variety. Um, and then they have a few starters like buffalo cauliflower, which is weird, um, and boneless wings. All that stuff, like the fries and the, the wings and stuff sound off brand. It's odd. Um, and then desserts. So and then they have some kids meals. So we're going to take a look here. I don't know what we're going to get. All right, first impressions. Um, very similar to Chipotle. It has sort of the standard line. And you can kind of pick your items. Um, but a couple of things. Uh, she did notice that they have a menu. What, what was it called? A student meal menu. Student meal menu. So they have a kid's menu. $8. I can't read from here what's on it. Yeah. They have a kid's meals menu and then also a student menu. So for maybe for... I don't know, teens or college-age students. Yeah, it's um, for anybody in school, college. Yeah. 
school age, like uh, uh, kids under the age of 18 that are in school, that's $8, and then they have a kid's meal for $6. Yeah, and the, the student meal is $8, and it looks like it's like a little bit larger than the kid's meal. It's kind of like yeah. in the middle between like maybe a full-size meal, but it looks like it comes with a drink. Yeah. Um, it's not on the hand the menu that I just had, but it's up on the screen. Um, so yeah, but also really interesting all the different um, topping choices that you can choose from. And they also have a bunch of signature sauces that are not on the menu anywhere. I couldn't find them on the menu anywhere, but there's a sticker up there on the glass when you go to order that has all these different sauces. So they had like a Nashville hot and a sriracha and like a buffalo sauce and a sweet chili sauce and a garlic parm sauce. So like a bunch of different sauces that you can... buffalo sauce? I didn't get it. I told her that they had a buffalo sauce. I told you that in life. Yeah. So they have a bunch of different sauces that you can then dump, I guess, like, like squeeze bottles, and you can they can dump them on your on your dish. So there you have it. She 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 really will. She'll probably go get it. Okay, she's back. She got her buffalo sauce. Um, overall, I feel like the vibe of the place is kind of it's kind of cool. I like the like the lime green color and the black with all the like graffiti type art and everything everywhere. Um, it's very clean. It's got a lot of the like metal machine look to it. I kind of, I mean, I dig the vibe. I feel like the vibe is cool. Um, I do wish there was outdoor seating. There's there's space out there for outdoor seating, but there's no outdoor seating. I don't know if they're not allowed, or maybe they'll add it later. I don't know, but right now there's no outdoor seating, and it's not very big in here, so there's not a ton of indoor seating. It's not very big behind the counter either, so everybody's like stepping all over each other, and they're like really crowded up there. It's very crowded up there. So it seems chaotic. It is a little, it feels a little chaotic. Yeah. My other first impression is that it's extremely expensive here. Yeah, I had to pay a dollar for fajitas. Um, I didn't over, know that. I would try. Yeah, like I'm trying to compare it to like I'm trying to if I compare it to like maybe a Chipotle, I feel like it's it's almost like double the price yeah. of Chipotle. I think the it's fajitas look delicious, but I, I don't. I, if I come back, I'm not going to get it feels a little bit more to me like this is like similar to Moe's as far as like price because Moe's is a little bit more expensive. Um, but Moe's gives you like you get chips and salsa with your food. They also have Mo Mondays. Mondays where you get a drink and everything included. And it's only like eight or nine bucks. I mean, um, so I ordered the hibachi shrimp bowl. Uh, I mean, it's pretty good size. I'd say it's about the same size as like Chipotle or Moe's. Um, or taco bus, um, and I got the shrimp, and it was eleven dollars and ninety nine cents for just the bowl, and then it was a dollar extra for the fajitas. That's a lot. So it's twelve ninety nine for the bowl and fajitas, and it doesn't come with any chips. So I had to buy the chips and salsa separately, which was another two dollars and fifty cents, and then also the drink separately. Um, so overall, we both got a bowl, we both got fajitas. She got the grilled chicken. I'm gonna show yours. Here's what she got. This is sort of the grilled chicken bowl with a bunch of different toppings. I'll let you tell them what's in there. Um, so the two bowls with fajitas, chips and salsa, two drinks was $35. That's a lot. That's a lot. Um, like that's pretty expensive. That's like a sit-down restaurant price. That's not fast casual price. That's like sit-down nice restaurant price. Um, almost, quite honestly, like Disney quick service price. Like I'm pretty sure that the... Um, there's a place in Animal Kingdom that has like a ribs and ribs or a ribs and chicken bowl, um, called in Harambe Market. I think it's cheaper than this. It's twelve ninety nine. Yeah, it's twelve ninety nine plus the drinks. I mean, you don't get chips and salsa, but like it's so it's basically like this similar price, and that's at Disney. So it's pretty expensive here. Now we'll find out if the quality of the food is good or not, because for the price, it, it should be a lot better quality than what you get in some of the other places. It looks like it is. So I got uh, white rice shrimp. So the hibachi shrimp, they had a sweet chili shrimp as well. I just went with the hibachi shrimp. Fajitas, you know, pico, sour cream, cheese, lettuce, that kind of stuff. So tell them what you have in your bowl. What did you get? I got white rice because the brown, the white rice looked a little more al dente than the brown I typically get. Brown, yeah. But it looked a little bit more mushy. I'm sure it was fine, but I got white. Um, and I got the grilled chicken. I asked about the shredded chicken, but the shredded chicken is in a lot of juices. I am not into juicing meat, but if you are, get the shredded chicken. Um, so I got the grilled chicken, like hummus or whatever. Um, the fajita was, they look so good. Kind of reminds me of Qdoba's. Qdoba fajita. Uh -huh, but I love Qdoba's. They're fajitas, like crispier. they come with your meal at Qdoba. Yeah. Dollar more here. 
I got pickled jalapenos. They also have regular jalapenos. I did not get that. Um, corn. I got hot salsa on the side, onions, and cilantro. Yeah, at Qdoba, you also get queso and guac included in your price. All that stuff's extra here. So, you like, there's a lot of, like, e even yeah. the base price is expensive. And then there's a lot of extras that they will nail you for that you get free at other places. Um, like, some of those are more expensive. Like, you have to pay extra for, like, guac at Chipotle. But the base price is a lot lower. Yeah. Um, and then we got chips and salsa. And I think most people have probably eaten at Qdoba or Chipotle or these other restaurants for the salsa. And they're pretty decent sized things of salsa that you get with it. Look at the salsa that I got. Look at this. This little tiny, it's not even filled up all the way. It's like a really tiny little salsa. This was two fifty for the chips and the salsa. Chips was two dollars and the salsa was fifty cents. Um, so again, it's pretty expensive. All right, let's try it. So I took a few bites. Um, the chicken has a good flavor, um, it does, and the texture of it's pretty good so far that I've seen, because you know I'm picky. I just tried your chicken. Go ahead. And, um, the rice has no flavor at all. Um, it's fine, but it just doesn't have any flavor. Like, there's no, like, lime or lemon or anything yeah. on it, like there's such a good life. And even keto the rice is better. Um, maybe you'll think differently, but I don't taste any, uh, at yeah. all on the rice. Um, but I like all the toppings. I like it. The toppings I feel like look more fresh here than they do at uh, like Chipotle or whatever. Um, but remind me similar to Qdoba. So, I don't know. So far, I like it, but I don't think it has that much flavor. So. Yeah. But I'm going to put I, buffalo on mine in a minute. <laughs> I just tried her chicken and I didn't like it that much. Um, it's more Mexican-y, isn't it? And that's the, why you don't want the it. chicken here definitely tastes more like chili powder. Um, so I'm more, I like the more of the like cilantro, lime yeah. Yeah. type flavor for the chicken. Um, but it tastes more like, you know, like Mexican ground beef, like that flavoring. Um, it does. And I don't like the texture of the chicken. I don't think it's good. It's, it's okay. It's I don't not like it. freaking me out. So okay. I don't think it's nearly as good as um, other other places. Um, but I will say I agree the rice doesn't have a ton of flavor. I think all the the toppings do look pretty fresh though. I feel like it is like fresher. I do yeah. like the fact that I can get shrimp here. Um, I think that's a nice touch. I think there's not a lot of places that offer shrimp. That being said, the shrimp that I tried was okay. Um, they're, they're pretty small. They're not like larger shrimp. Um, but the texture of them was good, and I could tell they were cooked pretty much to order. I saw them cooking them. It wasn't like they were sitting in a bin. So that, But they're, they're decent. And they don't have a ton of flavor. Um, so overall, it's, it's, it's not bad. Um, but I want to try the chips and salsa, too. And if I said the rice looked a little more al dente than the brown, it's not as mushy. So the rice is mushy and... Yeah, it was mushy. Um, and there's no too. Flavor. So I don't like the rice. Yeah. I agree. Both of the brown rice, I, I would typically get brown rice, too, but it looked not good. It looked like really mushy and overcooked. So I went with the white rice because it looked a little bit better, but it's still also overcooked. Um, but they do give you a pretty good sized bag of chips though, I will say. This is a bigger bag than what you would get at Chipotle, but probably about the same size as what you would get at Qdoba. Yeah. Well, Moe's is bigger. Well, Moe's you get unlimited chips and salsa. Yeah. So and if you get it to go, it's like a big, huge bag. So this is more like Qdoba size. Um, let's see if the chips are any good though. It is a nice little travel bag, though. I mean, it like reseals up nice and everything. You can take this home. I feel like if that's this is like the chips are looking pretty good, but we'll see flavor-wise if they're any if they're decent. Well, that one didn't have any salt on it. Let me try the salsa. I got two salsas. I got the medium salsa and I got the pico. So the medium house salsa is like very watery. Um, they, they call it their house. They, yeah, they call it their house salsa, which they said is about medium heat. They have a hot, which looks exactly the same as the house salsa, just I'm assuming hotter. Um, and then they had the pico, which looks like standard pico, which is just like tomatoes and stuff. Um, but again, you can see how like this is like a tiny amount of salsa. Um, it's hard to even get any on your chip because yeah, you're trying to dip, dip this huge chip and it's a tiny thing. Yeah, I'm gonna try the house. The house salsa is pretty spicy. So that, but I mean, 
really spicy. Like I just have a little bit and I'm done. I won't eat anymore. It's way too hot for me. You can have it. I, I'm want, I want you to try the medium and even tell me if it's the same hot well, as the hot. I'm having trouble because I tried to buy it in my buffalo and my buffalo is spicy. So now everything after that, I Because yeah. originally when I tried my hot sauce, I was like, eh, it's not that hot. But now the last time I had it, I feel like it was hot. Could you tell the difference between the, the medium and the hot? No, not really, but a little bit. Um, the pico is pretty good, but again, it's a tiny amount. Like, this will be gone after two or three chips. I like the buffalo. So let's do the wrap up. Um, a couple of other things that uh, we noticed. Uh, they have diet. They have Pepsi there, Pepsi products. Um, a limited selection. It's not a freestyle yeah. machine. Um, they had no tea, no iced tea other than bottled yeah, iced no tea. Yeah, freshly brewed tea. So they had like a they had like a, a fridge section where you could get bottled drinks, and then they had a fountain drink section, which just had a couple of uh, Pepsi options. Overall, I think that the restaurant for me, um, I won't be back. No, I ate my food. Like, I ate it all. It was fine, especially, especially after I dumped the buffalo on it. Like, if I dump buffalo on stuff, I can pretty much eat anything. <laughs> um, so I dumped a lot of that on there. Um, so that's all I could taste. The toppings, I did like. They were fresh, but I feel like they're just as good as at, like, Qdoba or Moe's. Um, I feel like it's a, it's a good spot for if you're interested in the things that are on the menu that they don't have at a lot of the other places, yeah. right? Like... The some places salad. don't have the taco salad, right? Yeah, Which is the, the actual taco yeah. shell, and you can get a salad. Some places don't have the nachos. Like, you could get loaded nachos. They had a uh, chihuahua, which I found out is a rice and cheese ball. That's what it is. And then that basically replaces, like, your rice and whatever. It's like this fried, I think, rice and cheese ball. Um, and that becomes, like, the base. And then you put in the other stuff on it. So th that's an option. Um, and then if you like, you know, you want curly fries and tater tots and wings and stuff. I mean, yeah, I think random. it's a good location. It's yeah. good for that. Um, they also have like shrimp tacos. So if you're a fan of like shrimp tacos or whatever, it's, it's, it's a good place mm -hmm. to come. But for me, if I weigh it against like toe to toe, the options and the quality and the price that you would get at a Chipotle, a Qdoba, even a Moe's, I think it's... I think it's the bottom of the, the list for yeah. me. It, it, it falls to the bottom. Yeah. I think the taco uh, salad would be good because it was like a big, like, crisp bowl. Like, it looked really good. If you got, like, the ground beef and made it, like, that mm -hmm. kind of taco bowl, like a traditional. Yeah. Like, not the chicken because the chicken was just all right. But I bet with, like, ground beef and jalapenos and sour cream and cheese or whatever, it'd be good. Yeah. Uh, I, so, again, I think if, depending on what you're looking yeah. for, it could be a good option for you. If I have to weigh it against the, the typical combinations of things that I put together in a dish um, and what I'm looking for, I'm probably not going to come back. Um, I did get to take our little chip bag with us. Which so we probably won't eat. It'll probably just sit in our cabinet, but hey, at least I feel good about the fact that I get to take that bag home. Um, so overall, yeah, Bubba Coos Burritos for me, um, it's okay. Uh, I don't think it ranks that high for me when it comes to fast casual. No. Uh, you know, Mexican inspired like cuisines, but uh, for other people, I think maybe it's worth a shot. Again, it's very expensive. It's 35 bucks for us, um, which to me is way too expensive yeah. for just like a quick, fast, casual yeah. lunch. Um, we only paid $37 at Yak and Yeti the other day at Animal Kingdom. Yeah. I mean, that tells you so, something for sure. I mean, I'm just like, that wasn't with the tip, I don't think, but that was like yeah. the, the, the base price of the food. So, Overall, that's our review. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you think we're wrong and we missed something, again, I, it depends on what you get here. There, yeah. I think that for, goes for anywhere. So that's all we have for this episode. Thanks again for joining us. Um, be sure to tune in tomorrow for another episode. Until tomorrow, the noble way. It's the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody.